Question 15. Ella has 40 marbles, rounded to the nearest 10. Kim has 70 marbles, rounded to the nearest 10. What is the largest possible difference between the number of marbles that Ella has and the number of marbles that Kim has? If we start with Ella's marbles, first of all, we're told that she has 40 marbles, but that this is an amount rounded to the nearest 10. This means that there is a selection of numbers we could choose from if we were thinking about how many marbles Ella has. She could have 39 marbles, or 38 marbles, or 37 marbles, or 36 marbles, or 35 marbles. Anything lower than 35 would round down to 30. These are the numbers in the 30s which would all round up to 40. Then she could have a number of marbles higher than 40. So she could have 41, or 42, or 43, or 44. Anything higher than 44 would round up to 50, not down to 40. So these are all the potential possible amounts of marbles that Ella could have if they were rounded to the nearest 10, because all of these numbers would round either up here or down here to 40. Now we'll look at Kim. Kim has 70 marbles rounded to the nearest 10, so once again she could have a selection of possible amounts of marbles. She could have 69 or 68 or 67, or 66, or 65. Anything lower than 65 would round down to 60. And once again, she could have an amount higher than 70. 71, 72, 73, or 74. Anything higher than 74 would round up to 80. So these are all the possible amounts of marbles that Kim could have if they were rounded to the nearest 10, as they would all either round up or down to 70. We're asked to give the largest possible difference between the number of marbles that Ella has and the number of marbles that Kim has. To do this, we should choose the lowest number of marbles that Ella could possibly have and the highest number of marbles that Kim could possibly have. This would give us the largest possible difference as we are picking a number right at the bottom of Ella's possible number and right at the top of Kim's possible number of marbles. So we now need to find the difference between 35 and 74 and this will be our answer. We can do this using a number line. 35 at this end and 74 at this end and we'll find the difference. If I count on 5, first of all, I would be at 40, like this. Then, if I count on 10, I would be at 50. Counting on another 10 means I would be at 60. Counting on another 10 means I would be at 70. And a final counting on of 4 means I make it to 74, which is our target. So, we'll count all the numbers together. We'll start with the tens as they're larger and easier to count. 10, 20, 30. Then we have 5 and 4 which add together to make 9. So altogether 39. This means the largest possible difference between the number of marbles that Ella has and the number of marbles that Kim has is 39.